Well, that's that's interesting. I I always got the biggest kick out of uh, like health insurance. The very idea of health insurance. The more I looked at the the concept of insurance, I thought, hmm, insurance seems to be like a bet against yourself, and the only way that you collect <laughs> in that system is you have to lose the bet. Uh, or in the case of like life insurance, you know, the only way to win the bet is to die. <laughs> uh, and in health insurance, the only way to win that bet is to get sick. It's kind of interesting when winning and getting sick <laughs> get associated. So early on for me, I, I just realized that Jesus had said, in, even in the Bible, it's not what you put in your mouth that defiles. I started to realize that, that health is inner peace, that I could be hurt only by my own thoughts, that there was nothing in the world that could really help me or hurt me. It was all based on my thoughts and my beliefs. And it really got fun after that because as I cleared my mind of these limiting beliefs and these thoughts, um, it would, I was freed up from the cautiousness that comes from being a human being and living in this world. You know, people say, be cautious about what countries you go to and be, be cautious about being in the, the bad part of town or don't go to this country, there's a war going on down there or they're, they're killing white Americans in this country and so on and so forth. You know, when I got into the flow of spirit, I just simply followed the instructions of where I was to go, what I was to do, what I was to say. Uh, when I was in Colombia, they were saying, don't, whatever you do, don't, don't go on the radio or television down there and as a, as a white man and just start talking about Jesus because they're killing a lot of Christians down there, but the Spirit had me going on radio and television and talking about Jesus. And it was the same, don't go to Venezuela, the, the president of the country is, is doing a mock invasion preparing for the United States to come and take over the oil fields. And I was on eight radio shows and two television shows during war games. They had actually war games <laughs> going on at that time and, you know, it was advising citizens do not go to these countries and so on and so forth. Or in the environment. Um, one time I was, went down to Argentina and, and I was staying at a friend's house who had a pool and I put my bathing suit on and got a nice little raft, a little floaty thing and went out and just was laying out there enjoying the sun and, and uh, my friend's daughter came out, she was about 31 years old, just saying, just screaming, get out, get out of the water, get out of the water. And I kind of looked up at her and she said, David, the, you can't just come down here to Argentina and lay in the sun. You'll get burned to a crisp <laughs> like bacon, the ultraviolet rays and so on and so forth. And so I just smiled at her and started blowing kisses to the sun. She, ah, you know, it's just belief systems. It's just belief systems that there are something outside of us that can harm us, that we can catch a virus, that, that there are harmful things in the world. And it seems as if an, the ego has set up this cause-effect system where there seems to be these forces in the world and it seems to be the body, and the body seems to be at the mercy of things that are outside of it. But actually, it's the mind that is believing in this ego belief system that's generating the fear and what seems to be fearful outcomes, fearful uh, effects and, and fearful causes in the world are really just projections of this ego belief system. So uh, health insurance, that's, that's a great practical thing for me. You know, I've never had health insurance as the world calls it that. I, uh, you know, it's been a rare, very, very rare that over the years of seeing a doctor, a dentist, uh, a healer, it's been more the case where I've had experiences where for myself and others around me, symptoms have just left instantly, instantaneous healings, 
I even had a raising the dead experience like Jesus had with Lazarus. So it's been like a huge turnaround from the human condition to the divine condition. And things like um, health insurance, health insurance seems to be extremely practical in this world. And I don't advise people to, you know, start letting go of things while, while there's still a belief in them. It's just what I do is I join with people and just let's just explore these things together and take it down really deep and just really see, is it so? Is there, is there a reason for fear? Is there a reason for, for such caution and, and such protectivism? Uh, and, and what I've found is I've gone deep enough is there's not, there's not really a cause for fear. <laughs>